Okay, guys, this is like take three of this video now, part 24 of Kirby's Epic Yarn, because I've been trying to do this, and I cannot for the life of me get it. We're going back to Boom Boatyard to see if we can get those other two treasures, and to get gold on this level. I did go back and get gold on Fossil Reef, that wasn't too hard, but this level is just not cooperating at all for that for the beads. I don't know what it is. Oh well. It is a pretty fun level, though, in the atmosphere, like the music and everything is so cool, so I can tolerate it. Even if it is a side-scrolling level, which in my opinion are worse than the ever-hated water levels. But I digress. Anyways, yeah. And on one of those, like, practice runs or failed takes that I had, I did find one of the other two treasures, but I didn't find the second of the missing treasures. So we still gotta find that. Uh, no big deal there, though. I'm just trying to focus on not getting hit by anything here, because if you get hit by any of those freaking missiles... Or even these guys' spears, they can hit you quite frequently if you're too close to the edge of the screen. Then you're totally screwed! <laughs> Man, that all that missile just like came through and hit me. I didn't think it would come through the barrier. Oh well. Alright, we're looking good here. We haven't gotten hit yet. We haven't gotten hit yet. Of course, don't jinx it like that. Crap. Oh, by the way, happy Halloween, guys! Mwah! Yeah, if everything goes right, that should be going up on Halloween. Or at least very close to Halloween. And I don't even have a costume for Halloween. I should probably get something. I don't know. <laughs> well, Halloween isn't really my kind of holiday, though. Especially after what happened last year with Majora's Mask. And I can't believe I just made it up here. Cool. Is this where my other treasure is? No, that's just a patch. Well, patches, nothing to sneeze at, though. Because that'll allow me for some bonus beads at the end if I get lucky. Which I hope I do. No! What? What? <laughs> that guy almost hit me with his mad swinging baton! No! No, oh my goodness. Okay, well, if you ever get hit like that, just be sure to pick up the spears, if not- Not the spears, the stars, if nothing else. Because those are worth the most, obviously. And you really want to get those back if you can. Alright, uh, so the first missing treasure is actually up here. In this general vicinity, up- I think it's behind this flag. This happy flag. But it's happy in an evil kind of way. Yeah, there's the tree land music. Not bad, not bad. Why is the music for Treat Land here? I I've stopped asking that question a long while ago. Oh, ba bomb. Oh, I wonder if that would kill any. No, there's no enemies here that that ba bomb would have killed. Sadly. Alright. Sure to wait here and protect yourself from the bombardment of missiles. God, there's just so many miss. Oh, no! I almost had that. Crap. I have a feeling there's a patch up there, too, or something. It looks like there's plenty of beads up there, so. Alright. Yeah, but whenever you see beads like perched like that on those precarious, uh, destroyable platforms, then you can bet that there's gonna be missiles coming down to knock them down for you. Okay. Still keeping my eyes out for that other treasure. I gotta remember that. I'd imagine it's in one of those, like, junctions where, like, you have to pick either to go up or down. And I just picked the wrong way last time I was going through here. Something like that. I don't know. Okay. And this is that. And there's a big one. Oh, man. You really gotta watch out for those big ones, too, because the area of effect that they have is gigantic. Like, look at the circle that appears around them. And even the little ones, they have a wider area of effect than you would assume based on their size. I don't know. I guess it's a more realistic version of an explosion or something. But... Hmm, this looks vaguely, vaguely familiar. Oh, I thought there was going to be a flag up there for me to get a treasure from. Guess it's not that simple. Ah, more beads. Hmm. Oh, but there's a flag up here. Cool. And there's a treasure behind it. Wow. I hear that retired pirates made these all day long. <laughs> oh, those ships and balls. I've always wanted to know how to make those. Never found out. Right, I'm up to bronze, and this is looking like the end of the level here, so... I have a feeling I'm going to have to go through this again, but I did find both of the treasures this time, so I'm probably just going to keep this take, even though it is kind of still pretty bad. Right, come on, yeah, there goes your big poot, and avoid that the best you can. I just barely avoided that explosion, too. That's the crazy thing. Alright, one more hit should do you in. This guy is so funny, too, because he's always smiling. Even after he gets hit, he's just smiling, smiling the day away until he dies. There we go. Alright, ooh, maybe if I can get this, I can get up to gold. This is going to be 
life or death situation here. Let's go. Let's time it. Just. Uh, I, I have no idea when to time this. Just, just do something. I don't. Oh, that's. I screwed that up. I think I screwed it up. I screwed. Yeah, I screwed it up. No. Wait, 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 wait. Yes. Oh man. Oh. Oh. It looks like I just got to gold too with that bead thing. Man, that was way too close. Holy crap. That was scary. What are we up to? Five and a half minutes? Wow. <laughs> well, I'm kind of surprised, to be honest, that I got both of the missing treasures and the gold thing. And win in one run. Especially after all the failed takes I had there. And with that, I I think that, that that's the end of the Splash World, or the Water World. I should have called it that Splash World. And... Yeah, so let's just go ahead and move on. We probably got time for one more level in Snowland or something. Mm, taking a risk, though. Now that I've imposed that time limit on myself, I'm taking a risk every time I go for something I might not have time for. Snowy Fields. Oh, this one's this one looks fun. Oh my goodness, I think I remember this one, too. Is this the one with the giant snowballs they have to, like, walk on? It's probably another one. Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> But this music is so good. I love the music in this whole world. This whole world, this snow world. It's just got this Christmassy vibe to it, and it's so cool. No pun intended. <laughs> yeah. And this is going up around Halloween, too, so it totally doesn't fit, but... Yeah, I should be playing, like, Dark Manor or something for this, shouldn't I? Right, whoa, what? Oh, was, was this, like, slippery there? Oh, I'm ice skating! Cool, I didn't even realize. <laughs> I forgot that that happened. Neat. Anyways, there's probably a treasure across the way here, isn't there? Which reminds me of a certain level in Donkey Kong Country. No, there's just some beads over here. Cool. Uh, oh, you have to go into the... No, get in there. Yes. You have to... Yeah, you can actually head inside those igloos, too. That's going to be an integral part of this level, and many of the levels to come, I'm sure. Like that one up there. That's probably how you get down to those beads, I'd imagine. Oh, yeah, just funnel right on down. That's so cool. I would just love to use this music for like a Christmas special or something. It's so jubilant, I love it. And these snowmen are so funny. Because they're all, they're like angry, but they're totally not threatening. They're just like, eh, I'm gonna shoot you with my little snowburst. And it never works, but they're just so cute, so it's like, yeah, whatever, man. Just do what you want. I mean, I'm gonna kill you, but you can do what you want until then. Alright, ooh, I need something to break this. Is there anything around here that I can use? Probably should use one of those snowmen, shouldn't I? Uh, oh, this is water. Okay. Why isn't it gelled over? Or frozen over? Gelled over? Is that a term? I think I was kind of, kind of combining French and English there for a second. Because in French, frozen or to freeze is like to... is gelé. So I don't know. Oh, here comes the snowball! <laughs> it's like the crappy version of Indiana Jones. You know, I can probably actually grab that guy if I can get up there. And then use him to get that patch that was back there. Let's see. Oh yeah, look at that. Not bad. Wait, no, 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 no! <laughs> he just picked me up in his snowball. That's cute. Yeah, I can imagine that, I can imagine. Oh, look, these snowmen respawn too. So you know what, let's just kill you, and then I'll grab you. I mean, I said I'll grab you. Yeah, but I could just imagine, like, some kind of fan art of uh, Waddle Dees and Kirby playing in the snow. That'd be so cool. Kirby could, like, wear a Santa hat. See, I'm already, all I'm, like, already in the Christmas mindset. I'm kind of past Halloween. Because, like I said, it's really not my kind of holiday, but... I don't know. Majora's Mask is like a Halloween kind of game, though. Now, it's one of my favorite games, so... Am I hypocritical in saying this? I don't know. La-da-da. It's a nice contrast. It's kind of funny, because, like, these snow levels, they're all... Snow levels all, have always been one, kind of one of my favorite areas in games. Big bear bed. This cuddly bed keeps your head cool and your body warm. Interesting. Yeah, I've always been kind of a fan of, like, the snowy areas in games. And it's pretty ironic, because, like, snow is derived from water, technically. Chemically speaking, anyways. So it's like... <laughs> and water sucks in games, generally. So it's kind of funny. I wonder what a steam level would be like. Well, there's like steam and fog levels, and those are kind of nasty, but... Right, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to kill any of these enemies, because I might need them to like, break something open. I experienced that the kind of annoying way just a second ago. Ooh, can I get up there? I really want to get up there. Oh, I bet I can walk on this guy's snowball. Wait, is he, is he, is he going to give me another snowball? Please? Nope, he's just going to try to jump at me. Okay, maybe I can go off of his head. Oh, come on, get on his head. And then, no, I need to do the car jump thing. There we go. Nice. <laughs> nice little improvisation technique there. Not bad. Ooh, we're up to like almost 11 minutes here. I better hurry up. Of course, comes worse. I guess I'm gonna speed it up. Man, I haven't had to do that in a long while. Well, I did in that one Zelda 2 video not too long ago, but that was just more for your convenience and watching than for actual, like, time limit stuffs. Alright, ooh, I bet I can get up there if I time this right. Oh, maybe not. Oh well. Oh well. 
Oh, hell. Ooh, but I, I want to get out of there, though. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No! No! No, now I just have to sink. Oh. Wow, look at all the stars I just dropped in the pit. That was horrible. Oh, well. I think I missed something up there, but I'll probably have to come back to this level regardless, so. All right, and hide in here for now. Wait for this giant snowball to go by. Man, who thought one little Waddle Dee could make such a giant snowball? All right. Oh, my gosh! Oh. They're just as easy to destroy as the other ones, though. As the little ones. So, it's not too bad. I kind of want to get on top of the giant snowball, because that's probably the easiest way to get the beads, isn't it? No, not like that. Oh, crap. All right, screw it. Screw it. Okay, I'll just come back for this anyways. After that blunder in the pit back there, I'm definitely going to have to come back for it. That's for damn sure. This music never gets old. It always stays at the same, like, uh, level of happiness. It's perfect for a Kirby game. Speaking of Kirby games, there's that new game that came out, the Kirby's Return to Dreamland. Or is it Kirby Returns to Dreamland? I don't, I don't even really know. Uh, but that looks like so much fun. I actually played a bit of that at PAX Prime. That was so cool. It was a, it's a really fun game, so if you're thinking about getting it, I definitely recommend it. Right, let's get on top of this, if I, if I can. Can I? It's going to be kind of a tight squeeze, but I bet I can. Maybe if I have to be higher up. Nope, get up there. Oh, man. Well, let's try this. Let's try going from this height. Oh, oh, crap. <laughs> all right, this is not going to work it out at all, is it? Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, now they're dropping like little... Oh, man. So many little snowballs. There's so many, so many snowballs everywhere. There's so many snowballs. Oh. Oh, jeez. That's 13 minutes I just got through right there, so definitely going to be some cutting or fast-forwarding here. One or the other. Oh, come on. Let's get back up there. See if there's anything up here for me. No? Okay. Just that patch that was there. I won't complain. Oh, God. <laughs> no! Oh, that was scary. You scare me, Waldy. You really do sometimes. Alright, oh, boy. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, well, I'll just let it carry me for a little bit, I guess. I don't know. I need to get in that door, though, don't I? I bet I do. Oh, no, it's just for protection from the giant snowball, I guess. That's a really big snowball. Holy crap. Huh. Well, I imagine I have to go down here for something, maybe. No? Okay. Well, let's just head on over here, then, and that's the end of the level. Well, crap. I think I missed, like, treasures, too. How many... Yeah, I missed two treasures. What the hell's wrong with me? I'm so bad at this game now, all of a sudden. Well, not really all of a sudden, but... Ah, well. Doop. Oh, so happy. Is that, the, is that a Santa hat patch? I think it was a mitten patch, actually, but... Oh, well. Yeah, we got that snuggly bear bed treasure, but that's about it. I don't know what the other one looks like. Like the Not the music disc, yeah, the mitten patch. It kind of looked like a dumpling or something. Ooh, a new hide-and-seek stage, cool. But we got, kind of got ended off here. Oh, let's see what this does real quick. Really quick, I mean. Especially since it's probably going fast-forward now, and so... Oh, what? <laughs> oh, they just took his hat off and made a mitten out of it. That's cool. Now, that snowman's gonna be cool. If he wasn't already. Cozy cabin. Yay, Kirby's all happy. It's like, yay, cozy cabin. Well, I think that's gonna have to be it for this episode, guys. Um, Sorry that we didn't make too much progress here. We kind of sucked in the level where we did make progress. But it was fun. So, thanks everyone for watching. This is Argon Matrix, signing out. Thank you, and good night.